As we continue our unit on functions, this chapter will deal with piecewise functions, domain and range notation, and holes and asymptotes. In mathematics, the domain of a given function is the set of input values, or x, for which the function is defined. The range of a given function is the set of output values, or y, for which the function is defined. Graphically, our domain is indicated along the x-axis, while the range appears on the y-axis. Domain and range are particularly important in calculus, as much of calculus is devoted to the study of the behavior of functions. As we take a look at this graph of y equals x squared, we are first going to start by looking at its domain. If we were to zoom out on this graph, we would see that this function continues both to the left and to the right infinitely. In other words, this graph would touch every point along the x-axis, both in the negative and positive directions. So we can say that the domain of this function is all x values. Now, as we can see, if we look at the range, this specific parabola starts at y equals 0 and continues upward in an infinite direction, but does not continue downward. So we would define this range as all x values that are greater than or equal to 0. The important part about this is to notice that we are including 